Hey guys, Tactical. So I just drove out to some old family land that we got. This place is kind of dubbed Lot Town because my dad's mother's family came from this area and everybody out here was Lots. So that's why they call it Lot Town. It's not an actual town. But anyway, I'm going to give you a quick tour. So be back in a second. All right, so this house was built by my great uncle Curtis. He lived here for a long time. And then my uncle Ray, which is my dad's brother, he moved in here. He passed away a couple of years back. So various different family members have stayed here off and on over the years. So yeah, it's kind of just homestead-ish but not really a homestead. You know, we've got deer plots and everything like that around. Um, garden is up and running right now, although it's not doing too well. But back here is kind of like, there's a woodshed right there. Then like a little patio area. Four wheelers usually parked over here. Tractors parked over, the small tractor is parked over here right now. But dog kennel area over here um growing up my uncle had two dogs black and brown you can draw your own conclusions from that but yeah this is kind of the house area going to walk down over by the pond all right so this is the larger pond had some problems with it recently um over that way there's you can kind of see the two pipes there and then kind of a low spot to the right of that. That's an overflow. It's still going under a little bit, or the, or should I say the water's going over the top a little bit. So you need to either put in another pipe or another overflow spot or something. But over on the far side over there, there was a pretty big leak where the crawfish had eaten through and it started washing out. So it was almost kind of split down the middle right over there. But then up over here, I don't know if we'll really be able to see it, but there's a little, I guess you'd call it a creek or stream or whatever. Just, there's some flowing water that comes in over there. You really can't see it though. But yeah. This is a pretty decent size pond. But anyway, walk up towards the pole barn. All right, so this is the old pole barn. And as you can see, it's just used for like keeping a tractor and trailer up under here and a couple other things. But I say it's the old pole barn. It's not really the old pole barn, it's the new pole barn. Cause as the old timers will tell, my great uncle Curtis was known for winning or raising prize winning hogs, which he kept out there in that pasture over yonder way. He also kept himself a still back here. And during Prohibition, the law found out about it, came out here and shoved some dynamite up underneath that still. Of course, once you have prize winning hogs that are prize winning hogs for their size, get into that corn mash they get drunk and they pass out and those old timers always said that once some hogs pass out they stand right where they are until they sober up but anyway yeah it's the old pole barn and i'm gonna walk over that way right, so i just walked over next to that pond but back up over here this is where we shoot we'll shoot handguns from here and then we'll go back up back up there towards the house we want to shoot long guns at a little bit of a distance but you can kind of see right back up in there there's some oak trees piled up that desperately need to be replaced that stack used to be a lot bigger but yeah put a lot of rounds down range here then this little entrance the trail this is another 40 acre plot that we have and this trail here runs all the way around the perimeter of the this 40 acre plot and there's a couple of other trails cut through as well 
but I'm gonna walk up here to the left and you can see right there that's the the main shooting house for deer hunting it's actually actually a rather nice shooting house but it's got two lanes you'll be able to see it here in a second so you got the one looking right back up through there and then you got this one over here to the left if i ever come out here just to sit and watch that's usually where i see the deer coming through but yeah we'll walk up here and take a peek Hopefully, I'm actually looking up to make sure I don't see a wasp nest. And try not to fall. But yeah, so you got a nice little slide window there. It still gets cold up in here, but ain't too terribly bad. This is actually a really nice shooting house. Couple of chairs. Nice steep little ladder. But anyway, yeah, let's see what else we can dig into. All right guys, so I just pulled up right there. That used to be the driveway for my great grandmother's house. So it would have been my dad's mother's mom. That house was originally built in 1917, I think. This, of course, back then would have been a dirt road. The barn used to be over there. And I just stuck my nose up over there. There's not any signs that there was ever a barn there. Most of the wood from that was harvested a couple of years ago for other stuff. But there's a nice little creek where those guardrails are. It used to be flowing a lot more, but they logged around here and it just, like, I was gone for years and it dried up. I have not been back up over here by the house in years. So it's completely overgrown. Most of the house is caved in, but I'm going to see if I can get up in here. So be back in a second. All right, so it's actually not as thick as I was anticipating, but... You can see that was the chimney on, if you were looking at it, the left side of the house. It's collapsed and bricks are scattered all out through there. I'm actually kind of wondering if some of those are salvageable. But, um, see right there, there's a pipe, like railing. So that would have been the front porch. Remember when I was a kid, sitting out on her front porch. Let's see how far back up over here I can get. <clears throat> this would have actually been the den. Sorry about the camera, but fighting trees. So yeah, you can see this whole whole side of the house is just collapsed. I'm trying to remember. Right there, where them boards are kind of hanging down sideways. Or actually, no, that was a door. That would have been the door to the hallway. Let's see if I can get over there. Yeah, this stuff is really rotten. I'm thinking that was the roof. So it would have been like an attic area up there. But then through here should have been, I think it was a bedroom on the right or two bedrooms on the right and then a bathroom somewhere. I thought the bathroom was to the left. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Ooh. Apparently I spooked something. It spooked me a little bit too. But the floor back here is completely caved in. Huh. I don't know what's back here. 
But, um, yeah, that pipe right there used to be the well. Something up there. But, um, anyway, there's that little, I don't know if you can barely see it, little tin shed right there. I'm not sure if that was the pump house or there was another one that was over there. Um, I'm not even going to try to get to that. But, anyway, I got one more thing I'm going to show you. I'll walk back out to the street and show you which direction we're going to walk from here. All right. So, obviously I parked here. I used to park right here when I was a kid. The tree line's a little bit different now, but the creek runs across there, makes a right-hand turn and comes over this way, and then goes back out that way, and eventually puts into the Bowie River. So I'm gonna walk around that corner and see if I can find the place that I used to go shoot. All right, so I'm standing here looking at this tree line and I just came from over there. This is about the spot that about 20 years ago I would have gone up in the woods to get to the creek, but the woods line used to be about uh, maybe 20, 30 yards in front of me. So yeah, let's see if I can find a place to get up in here. Okay, so you really can't see where I came from from over there. But I think this is about where I used to come in at, right here. And I think I see a tree right over there, kind of leaning. So I'm going to see if I can bushwhack my way through here. That should be the creek right over there. Yep. It is. Yeah, and this is about where I'd come in at. So, get up over here. All right, so the creek comes out that way, cuts back down this way, and then hooks out and goes and winds its way like back out through there. So, I used to come in about right here, and then I would come up over this way, which is slightly more overgrown now. <clears throat> and I'm sure there's probably several thousand 22 shell casings buried in the brush here, but this is the spot that I used to come shoot as a kid. That tree was there, fallen. I'm surprised it's still there. Both of these trees were here, and that, that one on the right. They weren't leaning that much, but they were leaning. But yeah, I used to come out here, and you can see kind of, if I can zoom in, like the leaves and stuff over there. I would shoot at leaves, water bugs, whatever the little sand bank over there you know i'd find a leaf that was sitting there and like just play sharpshooter and yeah lots of time out here with the 22 every now and then i'd stroll up and go that way the creek kind of eventually ends up somewhere going that direction out towards the um Bowie river where it puts in at so I'd just kind of leapfrog and follow the creek down but yeah lots and lots of time with the 22 out here I love this place but anyway guys hope you enjoy till next time bye